Hey everyone, Graham here, your Canadian friend who helps you turn your everyday spending into extraordinary travel experiences. If you've ever found yourself collecting a pile of rewards points, but aren't quite sure how to use them effectively, you are not alone. Today we're going to dive deep into one of Canada's most valuable and flexible points programs, RBC Avion Points. By the end of this video, you'll understand why RBC Avion Points are a game changer for Canadian travelers and how you can transform those points into unforgettable journeys. Because let's be honest, what's more memorable, lie flat seats to Europe or a food processor that you'll forget you own in three months? First things first, what makes RBC Avion Points so special? Each of Canada's big five banks offers its own loyalty program, allowing you to earn points through credit card spending and redeem them for various rewards, including travel. However, not all points programs are created equal. Most bank programs limit you to their own travel portals or offer subpar redemption rates, which means you're not really getting the most bang for your buck or in this case, your points. Some banks, like TD and CIBC, have partnered with Aeroplan, but that's essentially Air Canada's loyalty program, not the bank's own program. RBC Avion is different. It's one of the only bank programs that offers a standalone, flexible point system that allows you to transfer your points to multiple airline partners, often at attractive rates. This flexibility opens up a world of premium travel opportunities that the other big five banks simply can't match. So what exactly is a point transfer and why should you care? A point transfer is when you move your points from one loyalty program to another. In this case, from your RBC Avion account to an airline's frequent flyer program. This is powerful because airline programs offer much better redemption rates, especially for premium cabins like business or first class. For example, instead of using your points to book a flight through RBC's travel portal at a mediocre rate, you can transfer them to an airline partner and get so much more value. This can mean the difference between flying economy and enjoying the luxury of a lie flat seat in business class. If you want to understand points transfers in more depth, check out my recent video on this. To start accumulating RBC Avian points, you'll need one of their credit cards. Before we delve into specific cards, it's important to understand that RBC Avion points come in three categories. The first is select points. These are earned on their lower tier cards, and these points are less flexible and have limited transfer partners. The second tier is premium points. These are earned on their mid tier cards, and these points provide more value and greater flexibility, especially when it comes to transferring to airline partners. Finally, there's elite points. These are earned on their high-end cards and are the most valuable Avion points. They offer the highest level of flexibility and the best redemption options, particularly for fixed rate redemptions, though that's a topic for another time. For the purpose of maximizing your travel rewards, I recommend focusing on the premium and elite Avion points, as this is where the real value lies. These points open up opportunities for high value redemptions, especially when transferring to airline partners for premium cabin bookings. To start accumulating RBC Avion points, here's a quick rundown of their credit card offerings that I would focus on. I do have a referral links for these cards below if you want to apply and support my content at no cost to you. Thank you. The first card I look at is the RBC Avion Visa Infinite. This is their flagship card offering a generous welcome bonus, often enough points for a one-way business class flight to Europe. You'll also earn one point per dollar on all purchases and 1.25 points on travel-related expenses booked through RBC's travel portal. The annual fee is $120 and the income requirement is 60,000 personal or 100,000 household. This card earns premium points, which is great for transferring. The second card I'd look at if you're a higher earner or bigger spender is the RBC Avion Visa Infinite Privilege card. It's a premium card with a $399 annual fee and a higher income requirement, $200,000 for the household. It offers a higher welcome bonus and earns 1.25 points per dollar spent on all purchases. This card earns elite points which are the best of the best. Finally in third but still an amazing option is the RBC Avion Visa Platinum card. This is ideal if you don't meet the income requirements for the other cards. It has the same $120 annual fee but no minimum income requirement. You'll earn one point per dollar spent on all purchases, and this card also earns premium points. These cards have typically had very generous welcome bonuses, starting at 35,000 welcome points with no minimum spend requirement. You get the points right on approval. All of details on the current welcome offer at the links in the description below. Now let's delve into why RBC Avion Points' ability to transfer is such a game changer. RBC Avion Premium and Elite Points allow you to transfer your points to four loyalty programs, WestJet Rewards, 
British Airways Executive Club, also known as British Airways Avios, Cathay Pacific Asia Miles, and American Airlines Advantage. At first glance, you might think, does this mean I can only book flights on these four airlines? And not at all. When you transfer your points to programs like British Airways Executive Club or Cathay Pacific Asia Miles, you gain access to the entire network of partner airlines through the One World Alliance. This includes awesome airlines like Qatar Airways, Japan Airlines, Finnair, Iberia, American Airlines, and so many more. This means you can use your points to book flights on a multitude of airlines across the globe, unlocking premium experiences that might otherwise be out of reach. Let's break down how to get the most out of each transfer partner. First up, British Airways Avios. This is an incredibly versatile program as you can access all of the One World partner airlines. So while I would look at using them on British Airways flights, there are a ton more to talk about. I've used my Avios points to book on Iberia Airlines, Spain's flight carrier. On them, you can fly from the east coast of the US to Madrid in business class for as low as 34,000 Avios points, plus around $200 in fees. From the west coast, it's as low as 42,000 Avios. Iberia offers lie flat seats on these routes, making it one of the most affordable ways to cross the Atlantic in comfort. I recently booked a flight from Mexico City to Madrid for 42,000 Avios points on Iberia's new A350-900. It was a 10 hour flight in pure comfort, and was absolutely worth the low price in points. Iberia doesn't fly direct to Canada, but there are lots of options to route through a US hub. The second airline I would look at if you're looking to go to Europe is Finnair. Again, Finnair doesn't fly directly to Canada, but they serve major US hubs like New York, Chicago, Dallas. You can fly from Helsinki to these cities for 62,000 Avios points, plus about 200 in fees. Finnair's unique business class feature is innovative seats that converts into a bed or a couch, but does not recline. Pro tip, you can connect to other Scandinavian cities for no extra Avios and to other European destinations for another 10,000 to 20,000 avios. Next up is Qatar Airways, known for their incredible Q Suites business class, one of the best business class products in the world. You can fly from North America to Doha for 70,000 avios points plus fees one way. Qatar Airways has two routes to Doha through Canada in Toronto and Montreal. Finally, Japan Airlines is an incredible partner that can be booked through British Airways Avios. I just scored a business class booking on Japan Airlines through Avios, which is so incredibly rare. I'm going to be covering that later in the video. One of the best things about the Avios program is that once you transfer your Avion points to British Airways Avios, you can also transfer those Avios to Qatar Airways Avios and Finnair Avios at a one-to-one -one rate. This means that you can search award availability across all three programs and transfer to your Avios between the three programs to get the best deal. The next transfer partner is Cathay Pacific Asia Miles. These transfer at a one-to-one -one rate, and Asia Miles are really your gateway to booking Cathay Pacific flights, especially in business and first class. While the program has seen some devaluations, it's still valuable for specific routes. The most valuable redemption is to fly from Vancouver or Toronto to Hong Kong in business class. You're looking at about 85,000 Asia Miles from Vancouver and 110,000 from Toronto, both one way. Third, you can transfer to American Airlines Advantage Miles. Although the transfer rate is less favorable, one Avion point equaling 0.7 advantage miles, there is niche opportunities for high value redemptions. One of the single most valuable ones is to fly Etihad Airways first class in their apartments. You can fly from Abu Dhabi to London in one of the most luxurious first class cabins in the sky for 62,500 advantage miles. Despite the less favorable transfer rate, this is a phenomenal use of points and one that's less accessible to Canadians unless you have Avion points. Fourth, you can transfer your points to WestJet dollars. And WestJet dollars are straightforward, that is their benefit. 100 Avion points equals one WestJet dollar, and one WestJet dollar equals one dollar off your WestJet operated flight. It's simple, but it's not super valuable, so it's not something that I would look to do personally. Now here's where things get really exciting. Transfer bonuses. RBC Avion has regularly offered transfer bonuses to its airline partners. Most notably, a 30% bonus when transferring to British Airways Avios, which would be my number one destination anyway. This typically has been happening twice a year in the spring and the fall. One just ended in November 2024. How it works? Without the bonus, you can transfer 100,000 Avion points and get 100,000 Avios points. But with the 30% bonus, you transfer 100,000 Avion points and you get 130 Avios points. 
This significantly increases the value of your points and can make premium redemptions more accessible. It's also a pretty unique perk for us Canadians. Our American counterparts get a lot of bonus transfer options, but as Canadians, it's fairly limited. RBC Avion has offered a lot more than Amex Canada has lately. RBC Avion is one of the programs I collect personally, and I do plan my redemptions and transfers around these bonuses. This is mainly because I know British Airways Avios' system very well, and I know that there's a lot of flights that I want to take using them. This makes it worth it for me to speculatively transfer my points when there is a bonus, it can be right for you. Just make sure you know the pros and cons and be aware that it can be difficult finding good availability in lie flat seats, if that's what you're after. One of the underrated perks about booking with points is the flexibility it offers. Unlike cash bookings, which can come with hefty charges or cancellation fees, award bookings often have more lenient policies, and this is especially the case with Avios points. British Airways has a cancellation policy where you can refund your flight for approximately $58 Canadian, but you get back all your Avios points and taxes and fees. This makes it easier to book speculative trips or lock in availability without worrying about losing a significant amount if your plans are change. I flew in Finnair business class from Helsinki to Dallas-Fort Worth for 62,000 Avios points plus about $200 in fees. To book this, I transferred my RBC Avion points to British Airways Avios, and then I transferred my British Airways Avios to Finnair Avios as they had better availability for their own flights. My next booking is Qatar Airways Q Suites, New York to Dubai via Doha for 75,000 Avios. The Q Suites offer a level of privacy and luxury that's hard to beat in business class. Plus, the second leg from Doha to Dubai is in first class, allowing me access to their insanely nice first class lounge in Doha. As mentioned earlier in the video, I flew Iberia Business Class Mexico City into Madrid for 42,000 Avios points. That is a great redemption on a very nice plane. And finally, I just recently booked Japan Airlines Business Class Honolulu to Tokyo for 62,000 Avios points plus about 215 Canadian in fees. Japan Airlines Business Class is so very hard to find using Avios. I got lucky on this one and I can't wait to try it. If you are looking to use British Airways Avios as your main program, here are some tips and strategies. First, search all Avios programs. Availability and pricing can vary between British Airways, Qatar Airways, and Finnair Avios points, even though they all transfer to each other at a one-to-one -one rate. Always search through all three programs to find the best deal. My Japan Airlines business class flight was 62,000 through British Airways, but it was over 78,000 on Finnair. Next, be flexible with the dates and routes. Award availability can be extremely limited, especially in premium cabins. Flexibility increases your chance of finding the flights that you want. And finally, book early or last minute. Some airlines release award seats close to the departure date. This is especially true with Japan Airlines. If you're comfortable planning last minute, you can snag some amazing deals like I do. Let's quickly address some common concerns. Isn't transferring points complicated? It might seem daunting at first, but once you get the hang of it, transferring points is straightforward and second nature to me. RBC's website guides you through the process and transfers to airline partners usually occur within a few days. In my experience, it's usually overnight. What about taxes and fees? Yes, you will have to pay taxes and fees on award bookings. However, the overall value, if you can get a low dynamic rate, far exceeds the costs. For example, paying 200 in fees for a flight that would cost over 3000 in cash is a trade-off that I'm willing to make. The exception is to watch out for British Airways flights. They charge a super high amount of fees due to the taxes in the UK, especially on premium cabins. You can use more points to offset the high taxes and fees. My solution is just to not book a British Airways flight because their taxes and fees are too high for me. I'm not a big spender. Can I still benefit? Absolutely. The welcome bonuses alone on these cards can often be enough for a premium flight. Additionally, if you use your card as an everyday spender or as a backup to an Amex, this will help you accumulate points over time. RBC has also been incredibly generous in giving out multiple welcome bonuses on the same cards. While other programs are cracking down on multiple time welcome bonuses, that doesn't seem to be the case on RBC Avion. Who knows what will happen in the future, but for now they have been offering incredible value on all their cards. If you want to see how RBC Avion stacks up against other transferable points in Canada, check out my video here. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the skies.